Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can create custom Teams templates for your organization. Uh, let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So as your users create new Teams in Microsoft Teams, they have different ways of creating a team, of course. They can create one from scratch. They can create one from an existing group or a team. They can also create uh, one from a template. Now, all of these templates um, were created uh, by Microsoft. Essentially, these are Microsoft templates that are kind of available to all the users. And the template is nothing more uh, than just a collection of channels and apps, you know, that are already kind of provisioned for you. Uh, normally, when you create a new brand new team, you of course uh, need, you know, users need to create their own channels and apps and tabs. With, you know, if if they choose the template, uh, it's already done for them. So depending on the template you choose, you get a different mix of channels and apps. So for example, I have chosen manage a project template and I have a selection of all these channels and apps. If I choose, uh, uh, let's say another type of template, I get a very different mix of apps and channels. Um, with that being said, uh, if you have access to Teams Admin Center, you can actually create your own custom template and have it available to your users. Uh, let me show you how to do that. So obviously, again, you do need to be the admin of uh, you know, Microsoft Teams at least. Um, so uh, in order to obviously create, uh, you know, global templates. Uh, so let's navigate to the Teams Admin Center. This is not obviously the area where regular users will have access to. So I'm in Microsoft Teams Admin Center on the Teams Team Templates. This is where you get to see a list of available templates. And again, you know, this is the same list you saw previously. Obviously, uh, this happens to be residing. This is kind of in the back end residing uh, within the Teams Admin Center. And you can actually uh, in tweak in each and every template. I recommend, you know, don't touch any of this, um, you know, existing ones. Just go ahead and create uh, your own custom one for your organization. Uh, when you hit, um, you know, um, add a new template button, um, there are actually three ways for you to create a template. You can create one from scratch, um, you, in which case you will need to add all the channels and tabs manually. You can pick an existing team uh, that you already have, maybe your own and uh, or others own. And um, in that case, um, you can pretty much uh, kind of uh, templatize it, if you will. Uh, or you can um, choose one of the Microsoft templates and customize it further. All right, I kind of recommend, you know, either option two or three. I think if you start with option number one, it's going to take you a while, you know, to build that. I always recommend starting from kind of existing, you know, maybe team or existing template um, and tweaking it further. Uh, let's do that. Let's do, do just that. So I'm going to um, use the third option. And this is where you get to choose which template you're going to uh, tweak. So let's just say we want to tweak this one. All right. Uh, this is where you uh, give it a name uh, for your uh, template. Make sure uh, it is going to be uh, it is going to be uh, something obvious to your users, so they kind of understand what the template will do. You can provide description and everything. Hit next, and this is where you customize it. All right, this is where you customize it. Um, this is where you customize the channels. Uh, this is where you customize the applications. You know the tabs you want um, your uh, team to have. Um, so let's just say, you know, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to get rid of this uh, channel. We don't need it. Uh, and uh, maybe, you know, here we are going to remove this right here, all right, this application. Of course, you can uh, create your own channels here, um, you know, add your own tabs, you know, applications um, uh, as well. Um, let's not worry about it. Hit submit. That's all. That's all you have to do. And uh, essentially, here is our template that we just created. So I'm back in Microsoft Teams. Let's make sure now that the template is available. By the way, it might take some time uh, for it to kind of propagate, uh, but let's see if we have it available. So I'm going to create a new team. And here we go. Look at this. All right, again, these are all uh, Microsoft templates, uh, but this is the custom one. Uh, that we just created. And of course, if I choose it, um, it will provision whatever channels, whatever tabs, whatever applications we uh, configured uh, that particular you know, template uh, to have. 
All right, so that's all I wanted to show you uh, in this uh, quick video. Hopefully you learned a new trick. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.